is shaping the future and we should use it to our advantage i am using affinity designer to create the graphics and then i will export it to powerpoint presentation if you don't know about affinity designer then it is a vector tool like adobe illustrator you can also use inkscape as it is a free and open source tool here i am designing the background i have used a rectangle and from the left edge i am moving the edges to create a wave pattern it is very easy just press a key on your keyboard and start moving the sides or edges of any shape. Using a pen tool now I am creating a weird shape. You can create any shape you want. As ChatGPT suggested, I will repeat this pattern to create an awesome looking texture. There are two attributes which are widely used for any shape in any tool. Fill an outline or stroke. Here we will only use stroke or outline. Just remove the fill. We just want to see the outline. Now comes the magic part. In Affinity Designer, Ctrl plus J is the key to duplicate and repeat the steps. Just select the shape and keep pressing Ctrl plus J on your keyboard to create a pattern. Isn't it cool? You can follow this trick to create amazing designs and arts. Now make this PowerPoint slide beautiful and business-centric. Duplicate the pattern and I will move it to the background and fade it and see how it looks. Now move the gradient wave background to the back. On the layers panel on the right side, mask the background layer with the pattern by moving the background over the pattern. It will create a mask. Reduce the opacity of the mask to fade it. This will give more attention to the pattern on the front. In the PowerPoint we will animate it later. Also, let's add some glow to the background pattern and it will make this slide more bloomy. On the right panel you can find some awesome options under Quick FX. Here I am going to use Outer Glow to make it glow a little. Here you can adjust the opacity and radius of the effect. By radius what is means is the impact of the effect. Just move the sliders and see the output. While designing the slides, most of the times, I keep on improving the elements. As you can see how easy it is. Now let's quickly add text like branding, title, description, and a call to action button. Now I am going to add call to action button. It is simple. Add a rectangle shape, add gradient color, add text and arrow icon. To make it look more customized, I am placing this pattern in the call to action button. Just copy and resize to fit inside the button. Always resize from the corners so that you don't stretch it. Add call to action text like discover more, read more, learn more, or anything exciting. Add an arrow and outer glow using quick FX section. Now insert the triangle from the tools menu and rotate it to the right and fill white color. Remove the stroke as we do not need it. Place it on the right edge. This will make the call to action button more exciting. One last thing is glow. Use the quick FX menu to add outer glow. Use the color picker to select any color from the gradient background and adjust the radius and opacity. Now you can see, the glow has started appearing. Now I have exported everything to the PowerPoint. Here you can see, I have created two slides and two patterns. Now I will animate the patterns. 
Now select the pattern on the slide and click on the animation tab. Under animation there are three types of animations, entrance, emphasis, and exit. I am gonna select the emphasis and under it select the spin animation. Click on spin, select start with previous and adjust the duration. Right click on the animation properties and repeat it until the end of the slide. Now you can preview the animation. It is smooth. Similarly you can apply animation on the next pattern. I am applying grow and shrink animation. The process is same. This is how you can create wonderful presentations which are business centric for your clients using the AI. ChatGPT gives amazing suggestions for the presentation design. All you need is to ask the right questions. The preview is working fine and this is how it should animate. Well I hope you like the concept and design. Practice and if you want to download check out the link in the description. Also, do subscribe, like and share the video and I will see you guys with something more innovative idea in the next video.